You're listening to Polished Woman, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Good afternoon, Polished Women. How are you? We're here once again, um, here once again with our very, very special episode. And before that, I have to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Jessica rodriguez Burovac, the Polished Woman. Okay, so the, our topic for today is how to be a sports mom. Okay, hearing this word alone, sports mom, <laughs> I want to freak out already and like go to sleep. <laughs> it's tiring and exhausting. Okay, um, I'm going to do my intro first. If you're a parent with a kid who plays sports, you likely already know what type of commitment that requires. That requires the need to coordinate who's taking them or picking them up for practice, making sure they have all their uniforms and equipment, making sure that they're not falling behind with their schoolwork, and of course, spending a lot of time at games or fundraisers or, or at other team events. Even the most organized parents or the ones with the most flexible schedules can be difficult. Uh, can be a difficult task to get, to get the right all the time. And, and of course, you want to have time for everybody. I mean, not just your that particular kid, right? That, you know, that that's in the sports. And so today, I have my guest co-host who will help us. She is Galia Pistotnik, whose oldest son play, plays lacrosse at Berkeley University. He's like a sports star. And whose younger children are all involved in sports as well. And on my left side is my guest, is our guest today, Laura Clapper. She is a dance mom. Oh my gosh, I know about I know a lot of, about the dance moms. <laughs> There's a lot out there. Okay, so tell me about you know your life, Galia. I want to know. She has four kids. I have four four kids. kids, and she looks amazing. Don't go crazy. <laughs> um, so I have four kids. Three okay. play sports. Okay. And my 20 year old is the only one who's really stuck it out. Okay. His full time through high school, and he quit in high school and was going to not play in college and end up playing in college. So. Yeah, he was a football player his whole life and then changed over to lacrosse. Oh, wait, so you were a football mom as well? I was a football mom. That was fun. How do you do Mm -hmm. that? I mean, football and soccer, it's even dance. It's Mm -hmm. every weekend. How about our sex life? (laughs) Shit. No, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it. Hold on, later, later. I don't want to go about sex right away. (laughs) So, okay, so how did you do it? I mean, were were you, like, helping each other, you and your husband, or was it just all you? Oh, no, we were helping each other. Yeah, and you won't, do you have, like... So if you're a if you're a sports mom, you don't have summer, right? Basically, right? Well, I mean, you there's do. you do, and you find time, right, for that. Yeah, yeah. And so, how about how about you? Like, how do you? How is your schedule? Well, I think it depends how hardcore you are on the sport. Yeah, uh, dance, you can balance it off, balance it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have weekly games, but you do have competitions that you have to travel to. Yes. You know, in the vicinity in Las Vegas and around there. So do you plan, you guys, do you plan your own whole year? Okay, from January to December, this is what's going to happen. Do you have that in your house, yes, in your home? Yes, absolutely, you have to. But how did you do it? I mean, now that she's in college and she's with Berkeley, how did you just do everything? <laughs> I, 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 I can't, because right now my daughter, she's 15 years old, and her life is all about, you know, um, what do you call that, um, equestrian and horse and everything. I'm so tired. I want to right. sleep for three days and do yeah. nothing, right? That's what you just want to do. But it's just, it's just tiring. How, how did you do all of this with other three kids? Well, I think it's interesting because you have equestrian where I think it's more of an individual sport. Yeah. And when you have a child who plays football or soccer, it really becomes a community. Oh, that's right. And yeah. it, it, after a little while, it gets to be actually fun to go uh-huh. and, and see the other moms and dads. And it becomes a bit more social. Yes. And it becomes oh, a yeah. family. So that, you obviously don't have that with an individual sport or with dance so much. Yeah, it's it's really hard. With us, it's like every weekend we're just there and you know you have to really bring them on the horse because you don't have anybody with you right. like that that can bring your uh, you know your kids to 
to the place. Right. But with dance, mo- with well, dance moms, it's the, the, the carpool. The key, the key is carpool, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> if not, you'd be up and down on the 101 every uh, every hour. But when <laughs> you have a question, what happens if you don't get along with the other moms? Oh gosh, that has not mm. happened to me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank that, goodness. I think I have not experienced that as well. Oh, because I'm always like, hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't You're care. Like, yeah, I yeah. You have to make care. it work. You make right? it work. Right. Yeah. I know, but I know that there's a lot. Even the dads. Sometimes there's like you know, it's there's it's very intense, right? With the dads as well. Is are your husbands very? Um, you know, are they hands on as well with the sports of your? Mine is. Mine has to be. <laughs> Mine actually yeah. made my son play football before he even knew what the sport was. And my so. husband just put the tutu on and. You know, <laughs> <around. laughs> <laughs> but what is the, okay, what is the biggest challenge of being a sports mom? Well, the well, the better they get at the sport, the more of a commitment it is, yeah. you know, so the biggest challenge, I'm sure it's just time and making sure that they're doing well in school and that yes. they still have, you know, all the time for their, um, you know, for their activities after school, it's for me. But my my about daughter's time, 12. Time, yeah. absolutely. Well, how about for you? Because, you know, you absolutely have Absolutely time, ones, yeah. right. And having other kids and... It was kind of a burden when the kids were, my uh, other two were very little and bringing them to all the games and they did not enjoy sitting through and it became a little uncomfortable, but time is the biggest thing for okay. sure. And, home, so, and homework, but I actually find that when kids are doing sports, the homework comes together better because of the time management. Right, they get more productive. Mm-hmm. They get more. Yeah. Okay, this is what I've noticed. Let's go to sex. This is what I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about sex. We pretend it's about sports. <laughs> no, this is what I noticed. And a lot of like, I, uh, there are like other moms would, moms would say, why do you go on date nights? Like on a weekend that we're together and my husband is always with us. Like he's with me all the time. Like we would like have, for example, it's Thursday to Sunday. We would have that one night of like having a date night. Have you, do you guys do that? Well, for me, I have yeah. one child, and we drop her at dance at four, and don't yeah. have to pick her up till like nine thirty. So, so that's your yeah. Day. We have plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, because I swear it's so stressful. Do you do that with your husband? Like, do you or the whole weekend you're just there and you focus on just you know you focus on just um, what do you call that? The games of the kids. Um, I don't think it has any bearing on our sex life. I think you go to the game yeah. and you're always staying in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids are always right? going to their friends' rooms. <laughs> yeah. So And you're all together in one hotel? Yeah, but typically the kids all congregate in one yeah. room and end up staying in one room. Oh, okay. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have I have to have a date night. I I would get crazy <laughs> if I don't have <laughs> date nights on the weekends because it's like every Thursday to Sunday, Thursday to Sunday we're like out of town. It's oh, just yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot. Like there's only maybe in a month one weekend that we're literally home and then so basically I'm home from Monday to Wednesday only. Or Thursday. I can swim with gym <laughs> Thursdays mm-hmm. morning and that's it. And then the whole weekend is like, you know, gone. So how about these three kids? What are they doing now? Well, my I have a daughter who's 23, so she graduated college and she's working. And mm-hmm. we had club soccer with her as well for about seven years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so soccer, we had club soccer and we had football. And then we had two babies. And so that was very tricky. But, um, yeah, so right now it's really easy being down to two kids, only one of no, which does easy. sports. Mm-hmm. She doesn't look stressed. No, she's not. <laughs> Actually, she's not. not. No. I was. Right? Max, like, she max those. I always complain. Yeah, like, no. I'm like always like, I'm so tired. My back's aching. I need massage. I need Mosquito. coffee. <laughs> Mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> On the plants. <laughs> At the spray. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> right? right? At least with yeah. dancing, it's yeah, so dance. easy. It's air conditioned. Yeah, it's air conditioned. It smells good. <laughs> and you can do, okay, one question, because I don't know if I'm always... I don't know. I don't know if I'm always like dressed like as very appropriately because I really I still wear high heels. I don't care. Even if I'm in the bar, in the bar, I don't freaking care if they talk about me. But how like even if you're a soccer mom, I, for me, I think you should still dress up, right? Look at her. Oh, you're talking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my workout clothes. <laughs> no, but you still look great. I mean, you know, I mean, I just okay. This is this is what my thing is with all you women out there. Even if you're a soccer mom, even if you every weekend, I my ad, my advice just you know don't 
dress like a soccer mom. Just be, you know, just dress up a little bit. And it's not really for other people. It's really for you. You want to look great. You want to look good. And, you know, I, I feel me, if you look good, I feel happy. Right. <laughs> you know, so, so there's a question here for for both of you. How do you encourage uh, encourage your child if they want to quit the sport? Oh, this oh, is hard. That's yeah. a good question. Oh, all across the <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Me too. Yeah. I actually... I'm from the school of thought that you don't let them quit. And yeah. my husband always said, if they want to quit, quit. Yeah. And so when my daughter got her first boyfriend, she quit. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, but you know what? She never regretted it. I just think you can't make them... I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah. Well, I negotiated with my yeah. daughter. She, she, <laughs> I love that. Negotiated. <laughs> no, she, she quit piano, and I said, oh. "Okay, that's fine. You quit piano," which I had a hard time with, but yeah. she had to stick with the um, after-school sport. So that was kind of the balance. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. now, if she thinks she wants to quit, it's you know, you just take different classes. You yes. move the schedule around. But I feel like okay. Don't you agree with me? I feel like this kids. I think it's important for every child to have a sports because it takes them away from partying, from going out oh, for with sure. friends yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time, and spending like weekends on someone else's. Right. Or they'd be on their house. screen all day long. Yeah. After school yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So I feel like I feel for me, I'd rather even if I'm stressed and all, I, I'd rather like okay, I'll okay, I'll be okay, <laughs> I'll do my own thing mm -hmm. on the weekends and you know enjoy myself even if I'm just watching you. But I feel like. For me, if you're if you guys have children, get them into sports. I think it's really really important. So, um, so who? What's your youngest? How old is? She? A thirteen-year-old twins, boys and girls. Wait, boys wow, and girl. you yeah. have twins. Can you look at her? <laughs> That's why I say. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> okay, what know. workout? You know, what do we do, do, Laura? Everything. Laura, Laura, we do, Laura, do nice everything. <laughs> we do a little bit of everything. No, we try a everything. little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. What? Like yeah. what? Because um, you guys I, I look like great, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we do classes. I spin, I swim, mm -hmm. I play tennis, I just picked up golf. You know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love my own By the way, they're in my neighborhood. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. So what do you do if your child is doing poorly on school? Do you tell their coach or do you talk to them or do you discuss things with their coach that hey you can't you know you can't practice all the time or what do you I think we're both fortunate that our kids do well in school mm -hmm. yeah but but uh, of and course but, but we really know when the practices are when the you know when they compete what the weekend commitment is yeah. so we you just have to look at your week and say where you know are you going to focus on your homework and studying and yeah. You know, you can't, yeah, because especially for the team sport, there's not much you can do there, right? Right. Oh, and so you can't, the, if you miss, like, one weekend, is it, like, a huge deal? Because I know with dance, you can't miss, right? Yeah. That's, well, they that's prefer really in any right. sport, probably, yeah, right, well, that you that's can't true. miss. But really, in a team right. sport, I would but think even more important. But it, in a team sport, I think it's, like, much easier, right? No, I mean, I find that mm. every team sport my kids have ever participated in, if you miss a workout, you don't start your the next game. Mm -hmm. um, and I do... I find that kids that play sports tend to do better in school as well. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I was a gymnast yeah. as well growing up, and I think every one of the girls on my team was a straight A student. Okay. And I just, um, I, I just noticed that with my kids. Yeah, in their sports. it teaches you a lot of discipline. Time that's so yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about their social life? I mean, how? How do you make sure that they're taking time to relax? I don't think my daughter. I don't have time to relax. That problem. My daughter knows how to relax. She does have relax. She does have relax. She does. I mean, do you like take time off? Like, is it that they have seasons? Like with lacrosse, right? Oh. Can you like tell everyone so, like the lacrosse thing? What you know, like how how does because so, oh. everyone is they know about football, soccer, and dance. Right. And the question: What is like lacrosse? So lacrosse. What is lacrosse? Yeah. Um, gosh, that's a little tricky. It's almost like hockey on a field. Oh, um, okay. They have a stick I know, they have a, a net, net, right? And yeah. They, um, and it's interesting, too, because when my son started Berkeley, mm -hmm. um, he had he lived in the dorms, and he was in a fraternity, and he had his lacrosse team. And I think, fast forward, he's in his third year, his tightest group of friends are his lacrosse team, which is really unusual, because I thought it would be his fraternity or the people you meet in the dorms. So it's... I, I love team sports for that reason. Yeah. It's a, it really does yeah. become your family. But have you guys witnessed parents 
who like argued on the field of or course. in the band. Yes. Like, of course. Yeah, really? from, from when they were like two years old. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Really? <laughs> I in the horse. Do you remember the soccer when they were like two? Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The what do you yeah. guys do? But so far, you guys have not encountered any of. <laughs> it depends how seriously you want to take it. You know, I mean, Laura just goes and. I remember when my son, who plays lacrosse, played soccer. He was five, and inevitably, within two minutes of every game all the parents on the other side of the field for the other team would start going, get that kid off my field, he's hurting my son. Get the kid off my field, he's hurting yeah. my son. And I just thought it was hilarious. Like they would all want my kid off the field. <laughs> Wait, okay, so being a sports mom, how about us? How about our social life? Do you guys have a social life? Especially if you're like away. Well, with you, it's like being, you know, being having a social life, being in the field, right, with other parents. But going out with your like real parents, like my, I have good group of friends. There, sometimes they get mad at me. Like, when are you like staying, you know, for the weekend? Like they, you know, they're like, and they sometimes I can, I can't even like go with them on like places where they can go because we're like away. Yeah. I've missed all of a lot of those. They're watching, hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I miss all of those, yeah. and so. And she feels horribly. Yeah, I feel yeah. horrible. I really do. Like they're always out on weekends. They go to the lake. They go here because they have little children and they're not into like yeah. sports yet. Wait until your children are in sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how about your social life? I mean. Yeah. No. No. It's tough at that kind of commitment when you're traveling every yes. weekend. Fortunately, we are not traveling every yeah. weekend. Um, it's only you know you know when the competitions are. There's you know five or six throughout the year that you do have to travel to. Yeah. But um, I mean, Gali can probably speak to this a little bit more because you have yeah, you travel you to like, the games, yeah, the Berkeley. Right. I yeah. actually miss the days when my daughter traveled and my son traveled. My son doesn't travel now. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I fly up to his each game. But um, yeah, I mean, it's funny because this last Sunday night, I happened to go out with four women that were on my son's football team when he was 11. So I'm yeah. still very close with all those women, and we go out as oh, adults. That's so cool. We don't even talk about our son. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. I love that. That's cool. Oh, that's so cool. And sometimes, you guys, because of sports, um, you miss you miss celebrating Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, oh, spring break. I know people that had to travel. Yeah, you know, volleyball right? Tournaments spring break. And, yeah. I remembered, I remembered I was in the barn on Mother's Day. Oh. And yeah. that oh. is like the Mother's Day. You're supposed to like, you know, spoil me, yeah. celebrate me, and I'm in the barn. But of course, I'm happy. I'm, you know, I... I I was watching my daughter, but then again, I'm like, I cannot wait. I need to drink. I need to do something, you know. But you know, but it's just hard, right? This hard. whole sacrifice that we do for our kids, and our kids should know that. And if any kid is watching right now, see what we do for you guys. <laughs> you know, it's really hard. I mean, you will have kids one day, and you will know how hard it is to sacrifice sometimes our weekends, our days, special occasions, our sex lives, our husbands and stuff for you guys. So we can bring you to the sports or whatever thing that you have to go to, right? right. We're like drivers. We're like right. literally we are. <laughs> Uber Uber drivers. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in addition to sports, um, do they have any additional extracurricular activities that they do? Do they, if you're in a sports, do you have other things that you can do aside from sports? Well, I have one child who does not like sports and he plays saxophone. So I think as long as they have something. Yeah. They right. have to have yeah. something. Because otherwise she's right, they have their iPad and right. that's their extracurricular. Well, this is a good question. Uh -oh. What is your advice to give, um, to give the mothers who are tired of being a sports mom? Oh. Pass it off to the husband. <laughs> I love <Yeah>. that. <laughs> no, honestly, I mean, fa okay, how if the husband, though, is like a working husband right, no. who works, you know, every day from nine to five? Suck it up, Buttercup, yeah. because... Or I think I you also have you, to weigh it out. What, yeah, what sport yeah. are they doing? Is it, I mean, is it really benefiting them to be in this, you know, in the yes. long run? Is it yes. going to pay off? Yeah. And yeah, I think you just have to balance it and say, you know, is it good for the kid at the moment to do it? And then yeah. if so, then that's what you sacrifice and hopefully pays off and at the end because you know, your kid's going to be motivated and soon they'll be driving, right? Right. Yeah, that's so <laughs> yeah. true. That was great. Yeah. I cannot wait for all of the, for my daughter to drive. Anyway, how about you? How do oh, you? I just think that if you're a parent, you have a certain responsibility and 
you, I, I just can't even imagine saying I'm tired of sports. Right. You're, not, you're not doing it anymore. You're right. It's not really an option. So it's, it's, not an option. Question. <laughs> it's not an option. It's not an option. <laughs> okay. Do any of your children have ambitions of playing sports professionally? Like after, okay. Because, you know, they always ask me, what is your intention for this? Because they know, okay, with my daughter, she's an equestrian now, but she knows at the end, after this, she's going to be a model. That's what that's her dream. She, and I think she told you all of, she told everyone. So they're like, why, then why do you do that? If you know she's going to be a model, why do you do this? And I'm like, so just she can do something like a sport and maybe get, um, what do you call that? Get um, scholarship, scholarship yeah. from, you know, from a school. You know, right? I mean, what? why do you actually... Well, yeah. I think the experience of any sport really benefits you in the long run. You yeah. know, you, you learn discipline, you learn camaraderie, you learn, mm -hmm. you know, working together with other people, yeah. you know, probably respecting authority from your captain and That's sucking so it up when yeah. you have to. I mean, so there's so many great parallels between being in a sport and real life. Yeah. That's so true. How about you? I have another question. Good okay. question. Uh, well, your I thought your question was, do they want to do it professionally? Was yeah. Oh. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good job. No. Especially, <laughs> especially you. <laughs> no, my son, um, absolutely not. I mean, there's no professional lacrosse. I think he's going to have to get a part-time job on the side or, hmm. or huh. a full-time <laughs> job. Um, no, there's no interest. And I think when they get to a certain age, they're much more realistic about, you know, they're not five years old saying, I'm going to be a pro baseball player. Yeah. You know. I just watched, what's his name? Um, who, I don't even know him. I'm so bad. Rolando, Rolando, whatever, he's a soccer player. Ro Ro Ronaldo. 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 Okay, I, I was like, my he husband won. was watching, mm -hmm. and I was like, who are you watching? He's like, he's the best soccer. I said, I don't even know him. I'm like, oh my God, then you don't know. I said, I don't, I don't watch soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Christian. <Thanks. laughs> and, and I just saw his life story, and he basically just, that was his life. Just the whole time, he just played soccer and, you know, and became in a soccer, co in, in college, he was a soccer, and then that was, the, and now he's like, he's like worth whatever, right? So that, that is just, I mean, okay, my, my question, have you ever had an argument with the coaches? I like that question. Mm -hmm. Argument. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Well, I never did with my son because I didn't know the game nearly as well as the coaches <laughs> so I would really sound like an idiot but when my daughter played soccer I think I did yeah yeah and then did that I, yeah. did that affect because you know you don't know if when you had an argument with the coach or the trainer will that affect on how they treat your kid or your child you know in a team like will they like what do you call that uh, ben bench you or something? Oh, or yeah. Bench, right. yeah. Yeah, or, or not teach them the right way or something? Did it no, ever happen? nothing like that. Yeah. Nothing like yeah. that. And I've also, also looked at the people that are volunteering their time, mm -hmm. you know, when you know the kids are younger. I just try not to do that. You know, it's their yeah. time. Right. They chose That's to stand so up and do this. Yeah. So, And now I just look at all these um, teachers that are working with children, mm -hmm. and I'm like, bless you for doing that because like there's yeah. no way that I could do a class of 20 yeah, you know so people. It's yeah, hard. So, yeah, yeah so it's a hard job yeah, yeah. so for yeah. you hard moms job. out there yeah. you know the trainers and the coaches they're there to train and take care of your kids so leave them alone with your trainers I don't actually yeah. when our trainers there I leave my daughter and our trainer alone I tell my husband Sash sometimes <laughs> he's like the trainer he wants to train as well okay before we wrap how okay do you have any advice or do you have any advice for her because you know she's like just now starting <laughs> you know do you have any advice for her on what to do have fun <laughs> have fun <laughs> enjoy it <laughs> really enjoy it yeah. oh my god I know I, I just enjoy I just like whatever I wear high heels I wear my makeup <laughs> I enjoy that'll be my, <laughs> that'll be my take away from the show is wear high no, heels you never ridiculous. ruin your shoes <laughs> Yeah. I just clean it like after. I know, I know some of them are like, oh, what the hell is this girl wearing high heels in a bar? And I'm like, it's okay. And then, and then now I look at them, every single mom in the bar are now very fashionable. They like, I, oh I was the first God. one who wore this belt and everyone's now wearing the same oh, belt. I'm so like, funny. I'm so happy. They're all so nice if you're watching. <laughs> so, okay. So do you have any advice like now that you're starting, you know, any um, advice yeah, for take the moms the out there? Salt, like have fun, encourage your child. Yeah, lay off on the coaches. You know, unless yeah. you see something. <laughs> but yeah, I get, you know, enjoy the journey because, as golly, you can probably it's gonna it ends soon. You know, then they get out of sport and then they move on. So, yeah, you know. isn't that sad when your children like leave the house, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I have, we have to have a topic. We gotta wrap it. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Like, should they be? How do you call that emptiness? Yeah. Emptiness, right? right? That's, that, yeah. I'm, I'm okay though. I can stick with my husband. <laughs> or just swim with Jim every day and run. <laughs> okay, tip of the day. Um, yeah. Wait, my advice. Okay, hold on. <laughs> my advice. Whether your child is an athlete or in theater or any club, other club, it can sometimes feel daunting to juggle their schedules with your own. Remember that this is perfectly normal and that there's no shame in taking a moment for yourself or in seeking out help on how to balance things in your life. We women can never be perfect. Our kids does not expect us to be perfect to be a perfect mom or so as our husbands does not expect us to be their perfect wife. It's okay to break down and cry to our friends. I did that. I did that. I just broke down one time and I'm like, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I just want to stop, you know, but you love your children so much that you will still do and sacrifice it. Do not pretend that everything is okay with you, but do not also be a complainer, which reminds me we are going to have an episode about complaining stop complaining stop, stop judging others and a lot more this is before our Christmas um, our holiday season we have to talk about that and a tip of the day if you are a sports mom please still look polished still you know fix yourself still dress up especially you know if your hubby is around and do not forget that even if you're away with your kids for on the weekends for their games to find time insert a date night trust me kids love that they love if parents have a date night Okay, thank you so much for our guests. I love my sports mom. <laughs> Don't they look so sporty? Well? <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> they look so great. You're and, listening um, to Polished Woman only on LA Talk okay. Radio. Give love to one another. Okay, this is what God told us to be. To love or hug 